Good morning, dear students. Welcome to this uh, session uh, on pre-stressed concrete. Uh, we are uh, discussing unit two of your syllabus. Uh, out of that, uh, we are discussing pre-stressing systems. Uh, in pre-stressing systems, uh, we are discussing a pre-tensioning system. So, uh, to start with, we have talked about pre-tensioning system. What are all uh, devices required? And last session, we have talked about uh, the extension of the pre-tensioning system, which is called Hoyer system. Nothing but uh, Hoyer's long line method. Okay. <clears throat> and further, we have talked about uh, the avoiding uh, the rigid abutments by a technique called tension frame and also called a stress bench for this application for Hoyer system. Okay. And uh, we have talked about uh, the Hoyer system working and all. Now it is time to uh, talk about jocks. So uh, in pre-tensioning system, uh, to one end of the you know, uh, uh, pre-stressing bed, you will have uh, anchoring device. To the other end of the you know, uh, pre-stressing bed, we have a hydraulic jock. Okay, generally a jock. Jock can be of any type. So hydraulic jocks are you know, most widely and commonly used. So what is the purpose of a jock? It is to apply the tension to the tendons. Okay. And hydraulic uh, type of jocks are very common, okay, and very widely used. So they work on oil pressure generated by a pump, okay. So this is uh, uh, the hydraulic jock uh, working principle. They 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 rely on you know, Pascal's law, okay. So and uh, the load applied by the jock is measured by the pressure gauges uh, reading from a gauge okay uh, to the oil flow or by a separate uh, load cell also you can use it and just it, just like you are you now uh, your fluid mechanics laboratory uh, readings like uh, you have measured uh, the uh, pressure uh, from the pressure gauge very similar way and uh, a, a, a picture of uh, the jock hydraulic jock is shown here you can see it okay so this is a, a real uh, picture of a hydraulic jock so where this head is pushing this uh, the you know uh, uh, the abutment uh, i mean end of the plate you can have a plate something like that so this is uh, resting against this okay so the two ends uh, are being uh, acting uh, like when you operate the hydraulic jock this head will try to move outward so this will try to push this plate and uh, this rests against this one so this is the working of this uh, hydraulic jock okay so that way it will try to uh, make the plates move apart uh, hence the uh, the pulling of the tendons happen okay there, there you can see that the tendons are being tensioned okay this is how it is going on and let us talk about anchoring devices so to one end it is hydraulic jock to the other end uh, there is something need to be uh, holding the uh, the tendon so how the tendon is uh, no going to be held in position uh, for that much of uh, high amount of force okay so anchoring devices are the the purpose of anchoring device is to hold the tendon in position okay so they they are they they work on principle of wedge and friction okay so you know the wedge actions 
okay like uh, uh, the device something like this okay is going to be called as a wedge shape okay wedge shape uh, okay devices okay so a, a, a steel rod inserted into this when you try to pull it this can of a wedge uh, will try to close this gap try to close this gap so that it is going to apply the pressure from sideways as well as the, uh, the friction grip also will be applied uh, both either you know both by friction grip as well as the, the pressure from the dust of this so act on that so that you imagine uh, a member you are holding that right? so when you try to pull this out what is going to act upon this one the friction between this uh, surface and this surface so the friction as well as the pressure that you apply are uh, the reason for the member to be holding in position right so this is what uh, is the you know, tendons which are to be held in uh, tension uh, during casting and hardening of the concrete this is a purpose in pre-tensioned members what is the purpose of anchoring device okay this is the one and on which principle it is going to you know, work is like wedge and friction principle okay so a simple cheap quick release grips are generally adapted for this a diagram a, a picture is also shown like this it's a very simple uh, mechanism so as i said a slit uh, something like this will will be there so we'll insert the uh, tendon and upon you know you pull it okay this slit is going to close and going to apply the pressure gripping and the the you know, friction will also act uh, to hold it down so this is where the cap you are going to close this one uh, to, to you know, tighten this to to close this gap you no know, we use that uh, cap mechanism okay and a spring for easy operation okay so that is how the you know two important things like hydraulic jock to the one end of the uh, pretensioning uh, bed and also the other end uh, anchoring device is two such important things required uh, in case of pretensioning this is all uh, now is going to be like in pretensioning okay uh, th these are just temporary because once the tensioning operation is done and once the concrete is you now poured uh, gets hardened you are going to cut the tendon both ends and you don't need uh, any anchoring device or else hydraulic job to be in place there okay once the concrete is set you are going to cut the tendon and the entire gripping and all will be taken by the bond between concrete and steel okay so this once the uh, concrete gets hardened you are going to remove this cap and use this for another uh, no, uh, uh, tendons okay which are in pretensioning okay so these are like uh, use use uh, reusable to you know, all other uh, tendons okay so that's how it is uh, working right next talk about harping devices what is meant by a harping device okay so tendons are frequently bent right except in cases of slabs on grade poles piles etc generally in general say if there is a beam right there is a beam so this is going to bend like this okay so you you are uh, now uh, tendon shall take the shape something like this okay right so 
see if the tendon is not uh, straight so what you need uh, when you pull this tendon this is going to be th this tries to be straight okay this will try to be you know become straight so who will hold it down so that is what is called harping device to hold it down in its position okay so tendons are bent nothing but harped in between the supports with a shallow sag as shown something like this so this is what is the harping point what i say bent point okay this is before casting right and after you cast the concrete then it is never going to change its position you cut this tendon okay after casting so before casting uh, this uh, harping point and this hold up uh, device to hold the uh, the this position so accordingly you can rise or now uh, dip this position so that uh, at which point you want this tendon to be something like that okay you can move this position by adjusting this one okay and harping point uh, will will be showing that harping device how it uh, looks like okay right so this is what is called harping device okay so it's like a strand again a strand which is fit to the bottom okay strand chuck and uh, these you no know, wires which you want to hold them down are to be held by these you no know, hold down anchors what, what they are called hold down anchors okay then this is again a strand chuck and center hole hydraulic jock is again a hydraulic jock because you have to hold a large amount of force so you just can't just uh, held with uh, with something like a, uh, okay a simple as simple as that you need to have a hydraulic jock again okay so a hydraulic jock is used so where you have uh, an extension to that hydraulic jock connection is hold down anchors then stand chunk where it is fitted to this so once you operate this hydraulic jock so to what position you want this uh, no tendons to be bent down okay so that much amount this you operate the hydraulic jock okay so that the uh, tendon will be press down uh, to that extent okay so that is what is uh, nothing but harping device okay so a special hold down devices uh, which are shown here right so we, we have been talking about the uh, the additional devices that are being used here something like anchoring device and now uh, jocks hydraulic jocks okay anchoring devices and then harping uh, devices okay so this is about uh, the some of the you know, devices that are being used in pre tensioning system okay so this this is about the pre tensioning systems that we have been talking about anyhow that example of uh, you know, making uh, the um, railway slippers is just to make you to understand uh, the pretensioning in a better way that's it okay so let us just see uh, what we have studied in this uh, uh, pretensioning systems okay so we have talked about uh, the uh, various methods by which pre compression is uh, we will be able to in part so among that uh, use of tension steel uh, is the highest uh, applied you know, technique most widely used technique and we have talked about tensioning devices they are like mechanical hydraulic electrical and chemical devices among that hydraulic devices are very very much uh, in use and you have uh, 
hydraulic devices patented hydraulic devices you have okay for all this no fresh net uh, what we say you now father of pre-stress concrete uh, has also devised a hydraulic jock a t-shaped hydraulic jock that we'll be talking about in post tension uh, post tensioning systems okay so in pre-tensioning system it's a very simple one pre-tensioning system you don't have uh, uh, much variety of devices uh, uh, in this one it's very regular uh, operation so we will have a pre-stressing bed we'll have hydraulic jar one end and anchoring device to the other end abutments to hold the tendon in position okay and a mold for concrete preparation okay so once you cast the concrete once it is uh, getting hardened to the required amount then you cut this uh, tendon okay so that is what is uh, shown here there is the cutting of the tendon here right and the member is ready for use right so this is what the you now uh, pre-tensioning technique and we have talked about advantages disadvantages also and what are all essential devices for retentioning technique and uh, the famously known as uh, hoyer's long line system what it is and what for it is used okay and uh, to replace the abutments which are costly with a simple uh, tension frame technique which is uh, self uh, equilibrating system okay you don't need any external support for resisting the heavy amount of force that you are going to apply it uh, now it takes care of within itself within these uh, frame itself the forces will be taken care of and it won't transfer these forces to any external system okay you don't need any external system to take care of these forces right so that is one such technique which is used so what is called a tension frame nothing but uh, uh, stress bench applied to this pre-tensioning system okay so this is all uh, hoyer's long line system and today we have talked about jocks hydraulic jocks okay what type of hydraulic jock it is how it is going to work and you are going to see by attaching a load cell to this you are going to see the reading uh, how much load you are applying digitally okay and anchoring devices what type of anchoring devices you have there is a wedge action wedges you have studied in your you know friction chapter in you uh, know engineering mechanics of your uh, ug syllabus friction chapter so wedge action uh, is a, is is the one which uh, we we use something to hold it down okay or uh, something to lift a heavy force to lift with a si simple technique wedges are used okay and uh, now anchoring devices uh, a simple anchoring device okay and harping device which uh, when uh, there is a need for bending uh, bending points or harping points in a tendon you have to use this harping devices okay right so we'll talk about all this preparation of railway sleepers just an example to show you how uh, manufacturing of uh, railway sleepers happens with an example okay which uh, uh, the uh, construction company Capco uh, uh, Chennai, okay, uh, from that, okay, so that uh, we'll see in the next session, right.